Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us how to append across multiple worksheets, create subtotals and grand total using the amazing VStack and HStack functions. So let's get started. Looking at our sample data set in this workbook, I've got since 2013, since 2014, for 15, and six for 2016 data sets. Now, the data set is officially stored as an Excel table. If you look at the right and bottom here, you can see this little icon. This is an indicator that this data set is officially stored in an Excel table. Now, this simply means when a new data is added to the source data, after writing the formula, we expect the formula to dynamically update without performing any refresh or anything. So without much talking, let's dive in. So I'm going to come to the summary with grand total sheets. Now in cell A2, I'm going to write the formula and we're going to see how the append, the subtotals and the grand total works. So let's start equal sign v stack. Now the v stack function is one of the new functions in Excel. It vertically stacks array into one array. So I'm going to press the tab key. Now the first argument or the parameter of the v stack function requires input value for the array one. So for the array one, now because our data is in an Excel table. I do not need to alternate between the worksheets. I can actually use the structured referencing syntax that is associated with Excel table. So I'm going to call the name of the table, which is sales 2013. Press the tab key, comma. Now for the array two argument of the VStack function, because we want to create the subtotals as we append along, I'm going to throw in the amazing H stack function. So H stack. Now the H stack horizontally stacks array into one array. So the H stack performs horizontal stacking and the V stack performs vertical stacking. So I'm going to press the tab key. Now for the array one argument of the H stack function, I'm going to type in inside double quote total. So total sales. And of course, I have to close the double quotes. Now, this is going to be the string that will be delivered in the cell after appending or calling the entire data set that is residing in C2016 table. So I'm going to put in a comma. Now, for the array two of the H stack function, that's going to be an empty cell. So empty cell in Excel simply means I'm going to use double quotes with space in between. And this is going to fall under column B. Put in a comma now for the array three. I'm going to use the sum aggregate function to aggregate all the values in the total column of the sales 2013 data. So I'm going to call the table so sales 2013 and open a square bracket. And I want to access the total column, press the tab key, close the square bracket. Now, this is going to aggregate all the values in the total column of the sales 2013 table. So I'm going to close the sum function and close the h stack function. And then we are back to the v stack. So this is going to be the input value for the array argument of array two argument of the v stack function. Okay, so I'm going to copy this because I'm going to need it along to make the formula much easier to write. Now, let's continue in the formula bar. Now, to expand the formula bar, I'm going to use Ctrl Shift U, which expand the formula bar, and I'm going to put in a comma. So, let me just move this up here. Now, we need the input value for the array three. Now, in order to make it more readable, I'm going to jump to the next line by pressing Alt, Enter on the keyboard. And then I'm going to write the formula for the since 2014. So I'm going to call the name of the table 2014, put in a comma. Now for the array four, I'm going to control V what I copied earlier on. So all I need to do is to tweak this section of the formula and replace the three with four. And that's going to give me the aggregate of the total column for the since 2014 from the since 2014 
table. So I'm going to put in a comma and for the array five, alt enter. And I'm going to call the name of the entire 2015 table. Press the tab key and let me just move this one here. And for the array six, again, I'm going to control V, the H stack formula, replace the three with five. Come here, put in a comma, alt enter, call the 16. 2016 data set, comma, control V, replace the three with six, and then put in a comma. Now we need the grand total. Now for the grand total, I'm gonna do alt enter one more time and control V. Now in A, I'm gonna replace or just add grand total sales. And of course, we wanna aggregate all the 2013, 14, 15 and 16 total column respectively. So I'm going to come here. I'm just going to put in a comma. Now I'm going to copy this to, okay, let me just copy this to make it more faster. Control C, come after the equal sign or the comma rather, Control V, replace with four, put in a comma, Control V, you want to replace with five. And finally, Control V, you want to replace with since 2016 and this is all i need to do and finally alt enter we can close the bracket for the vstack opening bracket or parentheses now before we click control enter let's go through the formula in order to for us to understand now first and foremost we start with the vstack function and for the array one we call the c2013 data that is the table and then for the array two we use the H stack function to aggregate the total column of the sales of 2013 table and for the cell, the cell that's going to be in column A, we dump in total sales as a text or string in there. Now for the array two, we just put in nothing else. Nothing simply means we use double quotes with space in between. So we repeat the same thing for 2014, 15, 16. Now for the grand total, we use the same H stack function and we dump the grand total sales text inside the array one, which is going to fall under column A in A. And then for the array two, just like we did earlier on, we use double quotes with space in between and that's going to give us a blank cell. And finally for the array three, we use the sum aggregate function to aggregate all the total columns of the 2013, 14, 15, and 16 data. And then finally we close the brackets for the Vista. Now let's control enter and let's collapse the formula bar control shift U. Now we can see this is the final output. Now this for 2013. Now when you check the total for the 2013 in the status bar that gave us 23,000 six five four and that's exactly what we achieved twenty three thousand six five four now for the twenty fourteen two two seven six now when i grab all this and check the status bar we can see we have two two seven six that's amazing now let's go to the final one the big one which is the current total now we have forty one thousand eight four nine now let's assume that we added a new data into the sales twenty thirteen table I'm just going to, let's just, let's just call this one um, 12th of November 2013. And let's see, the product is Pavlova. Okay, press the tab key. And let's see, the total sales is 100,000. Now, before I type in 100,000 here, let's see. Now, you can see in a that you can even see that it has even updated waiting for the total value. That's amazing. So I'm gonna come here and let's type in one zero 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 control enter. And when I come here, it's automatically added. That's amazing. And the subtotal increased to one twenty three thousand six five four. This is how to perform append across multiple worksheets, create subtotals and grand total. Now this is quite easier to do in 
pivotable, but with the arrival of the VStack function and the HStack function, it becomes a whole lot easier to use formulas to perform this kind of operation. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like this video, share with your friends, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.